How are you? Good. What is um, the good news today in your life? The good news today in my life is um, the Lord had mercy on my soul. Um, I have a son. His name is Christian Jeremiah. He's a little over a wife. Wow. And I remember around this time last year, a while back, I was at the same place. And, oh, my. This um, place is the abortion the clinic, right? Clinic, yes. 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 Um, I was a believer, um, but I sinned against God, and I got caught up into sexual sin, and I ended up getting pregnant and result of my sin. And when I got pregnant, I just felt like I was I was ashamed, you know, I was embarrassed, and I felt like there was no way out, you know. So to cover my sin, I'm like, you know what, I need to get rid of this baby. And um, even people around me were telling me, Tiona, how are you going to raise a kid with two, you already have two children? And I believe that lie. I'm like, you know what, I can't do it. And you know what, honestly, I can't do it, but through Jesus Christ and strengthens me, I can, and with the Holy Spirit helping me. So I was in a dark, dark place, and um, I decided to come here to cover up my sin. And um, my mom dropped me off. I walked in here. I was here for four hours. And the Lord used a woman here. She was actually getting into worship. And he used her. And um, I ended up walking out. And now my son's one. And um, I'm so grateful. Well, what made you walk out? I walked out, actually, because um, the, woman, the procedure I was getting, the woman said it was going to be very painful. Okay. And I would probably want to get a different procedure. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. And um, I had to reschedule my appointment. So once I did that, in that time, the, I repented and I asked right. Lord for help. And um, all right, I'm, I don't. If you don't want to answer, it's fine. But sure. what kind of procedure were they? It was the medical pill. The pill. It was a pill that you take here and then you go home and the baby, you abort the baby at home and you're told. Totally. And how far along were you? I was about nine or ten weeks. She said it would be very painful. She said it was going to be very, very painful. And they'd come back and have a surgery. And mentally it would affect me because I would actually see all this stuff coming out. Yeah, so she said come back and do a, what, a suction abortion? She told me I should come back and be sedated and get a, um, a abortion that way. Like through a suction? Yes. And, um, like that would be right. less painful. But you know what? <laughs> it, it, which is horrible, but that was my way of escape, yes, you know, to be it. honest with you yeah. because... Honestly, if that woman didn't intervene, she right. didn't know what she was doing, but if she right. didn't intervene, I would have got that yeah, abortion. I get it. I get it. You know? No, I totally get it. And, um... No, I, I totally get it. I walked out, and then the Lord, he just He just met me right there. Yes. And, um, he, he met me there, and, um, I just repented, and then, like, once I repented, he just had mercy on me. My church family, people just came. I shared my testimony well, on Facebook. the picture of your baby? He's right <laughs> This is the good news. <laughs> this is the good news. So Christian, he was born March 20th, 2019. This is Christian. Aww. I named him Christian Jeremiah wow. because the Lord definitely has a hope and a future for him. Prophet. I look at Christian sometimes and I cry because I can't believe I was that close to getting rid of get, getting, getting rid of him. I'm sorry. I actually wrote a letter at the abortion clinic and I wrote him a letter apologizing and telling him how sorry I was. And I wish I can get that letter back. Yeah. My dream is to but help I'm just so happy that how the universe operates. it wasn't me. I'm just happy so that, that the Lord had mercy on me and I was able to repent and, he, and his grace is so sufficient. Well, this is one of the most my amazing name, stories I've ever heard in my life. So thank you for Since just being open to, to the Holy Spirit through that lady inside. That lady, yes. So still the Lord can use anything that's, and anyone, yes. <laughs> that's amazing. And I think you guys also. Yeah. Because when I was out here, I seen protesters. Yeah. And um, I ran in here because I was feel, you know, like you feel guilty. I was filled with so much shame. And, and I just ran in here. I knew what I was doing was wrong. I knew it was wrong. You know, but when you're desperate, you will pretty much do anything, you know, like. Are essential. Yeah, and, and I felt desperate. Yes, yeah. but thank well, you. God bless you. Blessed Mother loves you so much. You know, because you have a mother's heart, and and anyone who has a mother's heart knows how Mary felt watching her own son 
I will share with being you how to like open that, your you know. heart so, so that you can help others. It's going to save and last those who least, are destined to be saved, and Jeremiah is going to help. So thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Uh -huh. All right.